Winnebago County Justice Center. I don't know why they do all that work to make the outside of a jail look nice. Poppin', it's KG Go Hard, and I'm back with another video. You already know what y'all about to get, man. Tune in with your boy, man. It's about to go crazy, man. We going up every day, man. If you ain't like to subscribe, do so now. It's about to jump. All right, y'all. We still in Rockford, Illinois, and uh, about to take y'all downtown Rockford. You know what I'm saying? Talk a little bit about how it used to look and what it looked like now. Yeah. First thing I'm gonna talk about, man, is this mural here. Um, we got a lot of these that was built or put up. Uh, since I moved away They did a nice job with the painting um, As we approach a lot of these murals and paintings um, I want to apologize if I butcher anybody's name or I don't recognize who the person is um, I'm just gonna admire the artwork today and share it with everybody that's on the channel So but Yeah, they did a good job with that man, but this is one of the first ones you approach when you um, come from downtown. Like as soon as you enter downtown, this is the first one you see, which is a good look. Um, you see right across the street, we got unemployment office. First thing we're approaching after there is uh, the office, which is a nightclub. Um, as you can see, you got the rainbow colors here. Um, so you know the vibe. Not familiar with a lot of this stuff down here, to be honest. But we're gonna walk and see what's going on. I do know a big part of my childhood. So this is second here. So that must have been First Street, probably right there. Yeah. But a big part of my childhood, I'm gonna have to cross the street to take y'all there. As we see another mural right there. They did their thing with the paintings. I ain't gonna stunt because it didn't used to look like this, man. Like downtown Rockford used to be like all courts, all like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know, like not, not pretty shit. You know what I'm saying? That you want to see downtown, like almost like how Colleen is. Colleen's downtown isn't really pretty. Um, but see this stuff like this, they starting to do a lot of this, man. I'm saying shout out to whoever did their thing on this paint but uh we're gonna see a few of these man these is everywhere down here man and it's a good look for the city we're gonna make sure that we uh oh get them they just dudes there we go boom i did y'all thing but i'm taking y'all somewhere else though it wasn't that pretty back where i'm gonna take y'all though so as we walk right here, where this parking lot is, um, this used to be where it all went down at, man. This was um, the Ing Skating Rink. Right here, we had a ball, you know. It all went down, man. You know, like, it was, <laughs> man, you had to be there. You had to be there. You know what I'm saying? And we was just kids, you know, but it was popping, you know, like, Man, it was it it was it was more busting as a child right here in this area. Um, they had, they got rid of the building, you know what I'm saying? That's that's that's, that's how it was though, you know. What I'm but it used to be live. I'm talking about it used to be so live as a child in the spot that um, I man, I've been in adult clubs today that had nothing on the ing back then, man. For real, for real. You had to be there, man. These different restaurants. Y'all doing? You see, it's here. It says Wired Cafe. Uh, 
weed is legal here. So, you know, bubble high, CBD. I ain't even been in this. I don't know exactly um, if they got THC in there or not, but you know. All right, so this has like a nice like a sculpture or something as well out here. That's something new to me. I drive by here all the time, and a lot of the stuff I probably don't even pay attention to, but that's why I parked my car today so I can walk. really see what's going on out here man Eddie Green place okay then the city know how to be pretty when it want to be though for real when it want to be y'all can google it man you know the place so uh, it's good it's good it's got it's good and it's bad man just pretty much like everywhere else Another uh, spot I want to speak a little bit about right here is the Rock for Art Deli. Um, I hear a lot about that place, and me specifically, uh, I haven't been inside, but um, I've heard about it, and y'all should probably stop inside. But we'll cross now. Yeah, they got the scooter out here. I thought about getting on this scooter, man, but uh, but I don't know if I can get on this scooter and record the way I'm supposed to, man. So, and I might just leave that thing where it's at, though. We've been doing pretty good. We didn't cover pretty much a nice little quarter and went through some things though so we're gonna continue to do that and uh i'm pretty sure we're gonna pass some more i probably walked around like six or seven of them already this right here capri pizza busting that used to be my thing though man right behind there used to be the girls and boys club and uh man we used to go there and get our little dollar fries and uh you know we didn't have much money we'll, we'll get on the bus they'll come pick us up from the projects We'll go play on the little arcades and play our pool and get in the you know what I'm saying, swimming pool and all that. And then we'll cross the street with our little hot dollar and then go get us a dollar fry. I think they had like five dollar pizzas and shit like that. But man, that thing's still standing. It was there before us probably, but it's still going on up in there, man. I might catch them and give me some Capri pizza before I leave from up here. Um, but yeah, Sneaker Anonymous. Um, give me y'all a shout out. Everybody slide through there, man, and come grab uh, Indigo. All the little spots out here. Oh, we got another one over here too. Let's see what we got. You know, we just gonna slide on this artwork, man. Got old, old nightlife slash jazz. You know, like it's transitioned to like city life over here. And you know. And to me, it looked like these people was of color too, though. And uh, man, that's, that's a lot of murals that we done seen so far, you know, for it to have that going on. And I just don't remember the city being as ethnic as it is right now. But this is a good look, though. This is dope, you know? It's actually uh, the city that uh nba basketball player uh fred van vliet is from and he's been putting on you know especially they won the championship and you know be real big in the city right now all right pass through jimmy johns let's say i'm a cop state in madison now and the boys and girls club i was speaking of is on this corner down here on um, the next block up and then down here there is still more downtown um but this street here straight across there's a bridge that takes you over the rock river there's several bridges though but we just decided to take through this one you know i am walking so i'm not gonna walk every individual block so i'm gonna take you through state street which is a uh, pretty much a main street that runs straight down the middle of the city so As we cross these tracks and I see uh, 
grind house right here i remember this used to actually i think it said taco betty's there before so i think the owner might have changed and then the standard that was a nice little venue that we had uh a few venues that that was nice you know what i'm saying they had a little rooftop joint up there people was kicking it nice vibe up there um this area right here i remember when uh toronto won the championship this whole area right here they had a big screen there it was filled out it was packed out everybody had a ball um man and we all celebrated you know what i'm saying fred bringing one home for the city so that was a big moment and i had real i had a lot of fun down here probably the most fun i ever had downtown right there at that moment um coming across some statues all this back here um there's be a lot like food trucks be parked back here uh this is like a lot of the market it'd be a lot going on down in this way um the waterfront used to be the main attraction in my book when it comes to downtown uh it was a big once a year had all the carnival rides and all that going on down here but uh i'm not sure if they still doing it or not man there was a lot going on with it About to step over this water. Rockford Register Star newspaper. Even this bike, this bike playing. It's all new. This shit used to, it used to not be like this. Davis Park right there, over there. Um, that's the big spot where they have like a lot of venues too. Uh used to do like uh, picnics in the park, uh movie screen type setup, theaters, free movies and cheap movies and stuff, you know. There's going to be different bridges, like I said, going to take you across the Rock River all throughout the city. It's going to be different ones, though, so you might see some boats out here. I don't know what type of action we're going to get. We're just going to step it out. Over here, the uh, Rock Republic Library was there. It was a nice little walkway, you know, so you can walk over the bridges, under the bridges, little seating areas and picnic type shit. It was good. You know, you can go all the way down there. You can walk along the bottom there little walkway but we done made it across now I see it up there all-star congratulations Fred Van Vliet all-star 2022 you know that's the man right now you know what I'm saying this is city you can't take it from him Even how the street is widening out, um, that's all new. Used to not be here. This four-way stop sign and all of this used to not look like this. This whole intersection is all new. All these businesses have been redone. This city has had a major facelift from how it was when I grew up. And even still, there's still more improvements being done. Um, I will say that it's not moving as fast as uh, construction does in Texas though, because they always got tech and construction going on and they're getting it done. But um, you know, you can pretty much work almost all year round down there. That building right ahead, right there, it was the old Metro Center, which is uh where they hold most of the major events, um, like the major venues of whatever city, the largest one in your city. That's pretty much what that building is to Rockford. Um, I think it's called BMO Harris uh building. I think they bought it. Um, I can get a little closer, we could probably figure it out. Um, we're gonna walk a little bit further. So we all south main which is the north south street of rockford and then east state and west state which is the um east and west of rockford up there right on the corner you got symbols hood legend you know what i'm saying before i knew any better about clothes i always heard to go there but really that's a spot for you know older guys when they get older they do their slacks and their hats and shit Y'all can see in the window. That's a nice, clean, gentleman's spot. You know, they've been there for a while, though. All right, y'all, we got another mural right here. It actually looks like it's not even complete. You know, you still got, I don't know if those flowers gonna stay completely white like that. Then you got this spot here where it's just like, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing right there. I'm not sure. Got a nice piece of artwork here too. Can't let this one go without being noticed either. They took their time, I'm gonna take mine. You know, I like they stuff, I want y'all to like mine. 
Give me a thumbs up, man. Like the video. Subscribe if you ain't done it by now. Come on, let's get it. Yeah, man, this is a... Uh, Fighting that drama at man. You know, it's a new bit. They got a new jail now, but uh it used to be here. Right downtown, man. I come a long way from that shit. Long way from that shit. Um but yeah, we talk about some pain in another video. Right now we enjoying this beautiful day and all this artwork downtown. And we celebrate Fred doing his motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, right here, we got the transit station, pretty much um, the bus station, uh, your city bus. You see them back there in the cut? They got different terminals throughout the city. This is always was the main one. I don't know if it still remains the main one, but, um, See, it's still standing. It's been renovated. It most definitely didn't look like that, though, a minute ago. Um, that yellow-ass building on the corner, that's some new-ass shit. But it's been there a while, but it ain't been there as long as I have been here. You know what I'm saying? But that motherfucker used to have so much traffic that I didn't understand what they was doing because right across the street from there is the new jail. You know what I'm saying? So who the fuck want to hang out in front of the jail? But to each his own. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never, I don't know what they got going on, but we is gonna slide on this mural right here. Um, check that out. All right, y'all see it right there. We are Rockford. Um, and from what I understand, these all Rockford legends. We got Fred Villain V right here with the Auburn High School. Jersey on. I can't see. I'm trying to see. This person here has a Rockford shirt on. I'm from tell you. I don't personally know who he is. I probably should. Don't know who this person is either. Or him up top. So y'all get in the comment section and y'all let me know. You know, don't get me. I don't know who everybody is. You know, I only know what I know. But that's it. Dope probation. What y'all know about that? Some more pain. Some more pain. So we got some other like grocery stores and stuff down there. Like I said, I can't give you all up, man. I'm gonna give you what I can though. That right there is the new jail. That thing brand new. Uh this right here, a new spot too. I ain't never been in here. I don't know. Might give him a shot. I give them a shot. You know, y'all get y'all some of this free promotion, man. Get it while I'm in town. Get y'all some of this free promotion. People might be looking for this shit. Help y'all give it to them. Yeah. What's going on? All right, doing. What's good, man? Good, you know, I'm out do, do YouTube now, man. So I'm out here shoot some, yeah, shoot some shit for YouTube. You want to talk some shit? No, I'm good now, right now. Okay, I feel you, man. Enjoy your, enjoy your day, man. Uh, uh, yeah, they got them housed in there right now, man. You feel me? Wish everybody luck. Wish everybody luck. Do probably one more block. Probably get y'all something else real quick. Uh, don't want to end it on the jail. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give it. I gotta give it one more something. Give it one more something. I'll do this right here. This right here. I'm familiar with is a. Uh, if it ain't changed, the Rock for Rescue Mission. Uh, they do a lot of like men's recovery and. I'm not familiar with what they do for women, you know, but I am familiar with what they do for men here. You know, it was a, a lot of help going on here uh, for a lot of people coming home from prison and a lot of people who down on their luck and needs need some help. Some of them was sent through the courts, but you know, the help was here and some people got to take advantage of it and some didn't, you know, but this building been repainted. So I'm pretty sure they still doing good. And uh, 
As we see the officer roll on out, I'm gonna turn around and go the other direction. All right, we going back up the block. We just came from down there. That was the jail on our right. So we headed this direction. That's the bus station. Going that away. You can see like this block looks more, not as pretty, not as painted. Um, but even this here is polished. Um, but it hasn't changed as much as the next block over, which is the block we just walked down. So y'all can see that um, the transition is happening. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna continue out throughout these streets here, but this is the Rockford I remember for the most part. You know, all being buildings legally related. You know, you got the courthouse right there. You know, you got public safety building. Um, you got uh, juvenile justice center right there, you know, parking lots. You got like a circuit clerk. You got, it's just all those type of buildings here, you know, and then there's the jail. So that's what I remember. It was nothing, there was not much of an attraction unless there was an event or something being held here. We're on quarter and M now. As you guys see, the we're back at the BMO Harris Bank Center. So y'all can see it from a different angle. Come to the entrances. There's entrances all around the building. The, uh, it's a whole block long, so um, y'all can see a section of it here. That's the street we originally walked down right there. There's the mural we first already uh, stopped and seen that wasn't finished. I'm gonna go this way a little more. Man, that color is fire. I don't know what that is over there. I don't know. So I think about me paid my two door truck, something like that. That thing is sexy. I don't know. Get in the comments section. Let me know what y'all think about that color as we approach this corner. You know what I'm saying? Go and subscribe if you ain't done that. If while we approach this corner, Main Street District. You know what I'm saying? Like the video if you ain't done that already. As we approach South May. It's another entrance to the Harris. That building right there. Oh, we gotta walk that way. Let's do that. So right here, that big white building is the embassy. The embassy is a new hotel. Um, supposed to be on a greater scale. I haven't personally stayed there since they renovated and did their thing in there, so um I can't tell you if it's that or not, but we will get some of this footage on this recording. One of my homies, he go, he be all on the rooftop up in there, uh, posting pictures and shit. So obviously he like it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm about to check it out. I got to get up in there and see. I got to give me a picture up there too, shit. came down the bridge on this block. So we're gonna turn this way towards Davis Park where I said they had the theater. This right here, the Zeke Georgie building. There'd be all type of stuff being held up in there. Um, I couldn't even start to begin to tell you what they might send you up in there for, but Google it, there's a lot going on. Davis Park right up in there. Get a little close on that so y'all can get some of that. BMO Harris Bank. Zeke George. Rockport. There's another bridge. It's gonna take us to the Rockport. We're gonna take that one this time. Get a little closer to this. Lawrence J. Morrissey Center.
not gonna go all the way down here guys just gonna show you a little bit about how it looks down here how you doing bro As we approach the end of this bridge, we come to UW Health Sports Factory. This is also something new, newer. Um, this wasn't here when I was growing up. It's right across the street from Rockford Register Star Show. Y'all that on the other side of the bridge over there. That's the second bridge. That's the one we walked across. This empty lot up here on this corner we're approaching is where the boys and girls club was that i grew up at they has to level the building because it's not there no more um but obviously i think some of this building must have been some of it because the building was way bigger than just that little square but this is exactly where it was because this was i think the ywca or something back here That's Capri Pizza. The back door, we used to cross this street to get our fries. Oh yeah, it was right here. It's gone now. Yep. This right here, the pavilion. This we used to come play ball at. They used to have a bunch of rims under here. It was always shade. Have a lot of fun under here. They took the rims first, some of them, and then they took all of them and they just closed it. And I don't know why, but nobody comes here and plays. But it used to go down right here, man. Six pack of Gatorade. We'll come out here and play all day. All day. Yep, we'll be up under there doing our thing. I don't know if it was like insurance or. Howard Pavilion. Man, it used to go down up in here, man. Y'all see one of the hoops up there folded up. Y'all see them in there folded up. Man, it used to go down. I'm talking about this was like and sometimes on the right day it'd be like Rockford's Rucker Park, man. You know, we I got it's some other basketball courts that I'm aware of here that's popping like that though, for real. I know some of them that is smacking like that, but that one right there provided the most shade, the most comfortability. It was closer, you know, I grew up in this area. So, um, yeah, that was a nice part. Uh, the pavilion used to go down. And I'll be walking down this little alley. This is the back door of Capri. We're going towards the street that we originally started on. I didn't even realize that on two different corners, they had two de different dead um, deceased people on here. And this one, I actually know, I, you know what I'm saying? Went and played ball with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, grew up with them, you know what I'm saying? That was one of my homies, man. And uh, I just brought back memories even seeing this right here, man. You know, so, man, you know, that's just a life cycle, man. It's just tragic. This, this, this city um, got a lot of pain in it. Got a lot of pain in it, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what make the people out of it who they are, you know? 
things you go through make you the person that you become. So, you know, a lot of beautiful things was born out of pain. Across the street now, y'all. And uh, this is gonna end our tour of downtown Rockford as we bring it back into the office. Oh, the midway. Man, it's another story, man. You know, this city, city been through a lot, man. A lot went on down here, for real. You know, I could walk every street on here and tell you something about something, you know. But, uh, y'all see someone walk over there, man. where it all started at we back peace yeah so man if y'all ain't already like to subscribe do so right now man the channel growing every day man without y'all ain't nothing man we're gonna do this shit together man peace